camera angle never does justice, but hopefully even the shitty angle that you're getting right now is showing you just how wild this is. That somebody got Guess what happened was they drove the car up this trail drove it off the trail and then took the wheels and tires up so our plan is to basically put wheels and tires back on it see if we can get it started pull it back onto the trail and then drive it out the way that it came in ladies and gentlemen it's clap time and clap time means it's recovery time listen We've gone a few videos now without having like a real solid recovery. And we figured that it's time to provide you guys with some solid recovery entertainment. And what better place to do it than right here in the beautiful rolling hills of Idaho. We got word, in fact we got a request from the Forest Service and a couple of other agencies to recover a vehicle. I don't know what kind of car it is, it's some sort of sedan. It's driven way up here in the mountains and it's on a little, you know, narrow UTV trail, like 50 to 60 inch wide. It's not a trail that we can get our big recovery vehicles on. They drove the car up this trail, drove it off the trail, and then took the wheels and tires off it. Supposedly the car runs, so we brought some junk wheels and tires, we brought some fuel, we brought a jump box. I think it's been up here for Oh, a couple weeks now. Plan is to basically put wheels and tires back on it, see if we can get it started, pull it back onto the trail, and, and then drive it out the way that it came in. Now, if it doesn't want to drive, we're gonna have to drag it out with Sisu Nasu and the Polaris Ranger, which we'll have no problem doing that. It's gonna be interesting, but I'll tell you right now. See, on a day like today, about 100 degrees. We're out here working, sweating, you know, losing all those nutrients and minerals, electrolytes, all the stuff that our body relies on. Well, we're sitting here sweating it out. And I'm willing to bet that Diesel Dave has not had his daily dose of Athleta Greens AG1. Basically all the stuff that our bodies need and crave to function at like the highest levels possible, this is in it. I've told you guys before and I'm gonna tell you again, if I could recommend taking only one supplement, it would definitely be AG1 by Athletic Greens because it's just so comprehensive. It literally has everything that your body wants and needs, plus so much more, which is why we're gonna help with the friend Diesel Dave out right now. Hey buddy, it's like you blew a gasket. Oh, it's so hot. Let me guess. It's tired. Have you had this today? No. I thought. <laughs> told you. Guys, best part about Athletic Greens AG1, Athletic Greens is gonna hook you guys up. If you click the link in my description below, with your first order, they're gonna give you five free travel packs, plus a one year supply of vitamin D, absolutely free. Guys, this stuff works. It helps me, I feel better, I feel like I have more energy, more you know, stamina, just overall better mood, better focus. I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell you that it's gonna make you better, but I can tell you my personal experience has been phenomenal, and I do not go a day without drinking this, and neither should you, shame on you. I should have skipped. But that's a good friend right there. That's what good friends do. That's so much better. Man. And? Feel better now, don't you? Bro, you can't forget it. And neither can you. Click the link in my description below and get hooked up and get better energy, more focus, and overall, better everything, in my opinion, right now. Just to drive up here through uh, what's called Rattlesnake Road, and we went through an area called The Gap. This place is unreal. Alan, the wizard in the back, kept on talking about, we're here, we're at the Shire. Like, yeah, I think, at first I thought he was joking, but then he started getting more detailed information about the Shire and where it was and down in here. So the wizard might be leading us to the Shire. We don't know. 
All I know is that you guys are gonna love the scenery. The drone footage is gonna be absolutely wild. And hey, we're back to recovery time, baby. Any updates on the mountain compound that the people need to know about? Cleanup is still going on. A uh, whole half of the area is completely taken care of. All the heavy stuff was moved off of it, uh, but uh, got to go through and sort the dirt out, clean the dirt. Ooh. Story of my life there. Just start handing you stuff, bud. I did it, hands. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did actually. Nice. Listen, bud, you make it look nice in there, okay? Do Not I? like your camper. Make it look organized, okay? You'll get it how you get it, Hans. Get it how I get it. What's that song, bud? Something, something, mother words. I get it how I live. You got it, bud? You do it, bud. I'm pushing. You got it right, Hans. <laughs> what can I help you with? <laughs> Try not to get smacked in the f***ing <laughs> face. your first time? Yeah, just a little bit rocky and bumpy, but it's still pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Would you describe it as wizard? Mm, slightly wizard. In Las Vegas, they used had these big concrete skateboard uh, parks. Just like uh, a regular skate park? Like a skate park yeah, I mean, but they'd have like <laughs> really deep concrete. Could you drop in? Brakes were all the way out. I almost, almost went right into that stump. Probably did hit the stump. Time to go to work. <laughs> ah, perfect fit. <laughs> Everybody wants to see the uh, energy collectors. My yeah, pi uh, pylon. Vice so president, there would be a soda pop machine on every corner and a vending machine on every corner. A, there would be no more set? hungry people. In, in, uh, <laughs> if you're homeless, just buy a house. fuel for like two minutes. We weren't doing anything. I know Captain Hands over here came over and got mad. Said I was gonna be grounded for a week, but I started pumping my fuel. I think it's your first time fueling it up. It felt like it.
right on this little puppy right here. But where on it? Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out as we get going. Got a heavy load on her, come up steep hill, temperatures are spiking, they're not going back down. So we gotta make sure we got enough airflow going into that motor, keep her cool, keep her happy so that we can go recover this car. We forgot electrical tape, so we're using Gator Step. That's the, all the Florida man right there, 100%. This is probably what they use for electrical tape in Florida. Got the fan working. Should start cooling down now. This thing is amphibious, right? So in order to basically secure the front area where the grill is, where the air comes through, there's a splash plate right in front of the radiator, which is fine in water and cold weather because the water and the cold weather can still splash in there a little bit and help cool it down. But on a day like this, where it's just breathing nothing but hot, dry air, it needs as much airflow as it can get, and it's just not getting it, especially since that splash plate literally sits like that close to the radiator and it's blocking at least half the radiator, if not more, and that, lower half of the radiator is just getting super hot, which ultimately leaves what's heating up the transmission oil and the uh, coolant. So we built that whole front assembly in the shop and we built that splash light intentionally to be able to be removed. So removing that will allow much more airflow and hopefully let us get up the canyon without uh, overheating anymore. Hey, uh, bro. The guy that hands the scalpel, what is that nurse? That'd be nurse, right? Scalpel? Or, what do they call them? Surgery techs? Well, I prefer nurse for hands. <laughs> I prefer, definitely I prefer, prefer a nurse. nurse. Thanks, guys. I, nurse. I could see hands all, all scrubbed up, just running around stressed out all day in the hospital. Go oh, there. Thanks. Get, get, somehow your scrubs look cooler than everybody else's. But I somehow get away with never washing my hands. <laughs> so the splash plate that we're trying to remove is tucked behind our big custom grill guard that we have on there and the winch. So getting access to it right now, not easy. So basically we're gonna pull our whole grill guard off, which is like eight really big bolts, plus a bunch of Allen bolts. So a couple minutes. They're definitely my bolt. Somebody, <laughs> somebody misappropriating my name. Good for now. We'll see how, uh, how cool she stays. Still having a little bit of overheating issues so now we took this polar fan that pulls and sucks air out up front to push air onto the radiator again so i think that's trail fix number three First and uh we're just about out of options here for the overheating deal so we just got word that the car is still like three or four miles this way so if this doesn't work sisu might be staying right here it's not here.
Are you, I mean, guys, camera angle never does justice, but hopefully even the shitty angle that you're getting right now is showing you just how wild this is, that somebody got a freaking Mazda 6 right here. This makes absolutely no sense. And it's not even that bad. I'm, I'm baffled right now. And you know, when they missed that turn, they were just like, son of a we made it this far. How is the car not absolutely destroyed? I get dibs on driving it out. So we're gonna put junk tires back on it. We're gonna see if we can get it started. We're gonna get it back on the trail. There's no way it's driving out of here on its own power, so we're gonna have to tug it. How are you doing? It was on a metal bracket. I'm pretty sure it was an exhaust hanger. For the record, that was Hunter's fault. We told him to hook it to something secure, and he obviously went to like a brake line or a paper clip. So we're gonna give him another shot. I think he needs a plastic tie. Yeah. Not an ideal angle for the winch. thought about maybe not bringing all the guys today because we thought this was going to be relatively easy. This could be a fun ride out. She's on her. She's new, man. Oh, maybe... That's what I'm talking about. Watch this little ingenuity. Cool. Hey, man. Runs, drives, listen to this. Purrs like a kid. <coughs> I'm allergic to something in here. My tongue. Are you riding in the back?
feeling tired. I think it's safe to say that we are out of the woods now. What's the opposite of saying we're not out of the woods yet? I believe there's a clearing out here, which takes us to the main road, which takes us to civilization. I've just been dragging that Mazda around like a rag doll. See ya. One the team booked it off. And we walked like two miles. So now we found a gravel road, looked at their tracks to which way they're going, and hopefully we find them. Look, just like, look in front of us. We just, I think we're in Idaho. <laughs> That's all I know. So. Thanks, thanks for picking us up, Hunter. Really appreciate it. You didn't lose this, we're going shopping. One of the most entertaining recoveries we've done in a long time. I personally very much so underestimated this recovery. Thought it was gonna be an easy pick, small car, no big deal. We're used to pulling big, crazy stuff out of the mud and out of the, you know, different terrain. This was tricky. That was a 50 inch ATV trail. Even our UTV, our Polaris Ranger, was tight for that trail. So that's why the Forest Service was having such a hard time getting somebody to come up here and do it. The Sisu Nasu ended up being the perfect vehicle for the job, even though it did give us some problems early on in the day. We kind of anticipated those. Like we said, we're still testing it, improving it, working on it. So anyways, huge shout out to the Forest Service, uh, the local uh, district ranger office here in Southern Idaho for helping us put this thing together. We love working with federal, state agencies. Anybody who is easy to work with, we love working with you and we will bend over backwards to help you know, clean up our backyards because this is our public lands. Idaho, I feel, is just as much my backyard as Utah is. So we love Idaho, we love our Idaho friends and fans and they love being up here. So with that said, guys, if you have a recovery, something that pops up, some vehicle that gets stuck, something that needs to be moved, a logistically challenging, something that you think would make you know, a good video or something that you would like us to come out and take a look at in Utah, Idaho, Nevada, Wyoming, the surrounding areas. We can't do East Coast right now, but if you have something that's stuck or something that's interesting that needs to be moved, hit us up and we may be willing to come out and help you out. Usually we do it for free, depending on, you know, what's needed. So if you do have something like that, hit us up, shoot me an email to info at heavydsparks.com. We'll take a look at it. If it fits within kind of what we're looking for, we'll get back to you and maybe we'll come see you and spend the day filming and do some cool stuff. So with that said, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for always being there. Thank you for being you.